Hello, YouTubers. I thought I'd give you a little showing here of the few bicycles that I have. Uh, thought it might be interesting to show it to you. This one right here is called a Mattel Bronco, and it's from, if my memory serves me correctly, it's 1966, 67. I remember seeing these as a kid. I was probably about nine years old, eight, nine years old. And uh, where I lived, my bicycle got stolen. And I never did find it. We looked and looked and never did find it. Have to excuse the backyard, by the way. I, anyway, never did find my bicycle. And I seen these bicycles on a TV commercials and stuff. And I wanted one so bad. And a right, it's called Varoom. And there was a, a motor, motorcycle motor here that was plastic. And... Uh, you know, you, you could rig it up and it sounded just like a motorcycle. And I wanted it really bad, but my folks, my mom and dad were not really uh, wealthy or anything, you know, uh, as far as money wise. So, and I had a brother or sister that came along too after me. So times were pretty tight. So I remember for my birthday, my mom and dad surprised me with this bicycle here. And it's kind of unique. Uh, I don't know if y'all have ever seen these or not, but it's made made by Mattel, and I'm fighting yellow jackets and mosquitoes. But these, this seat is spring-loaded, and uh, as you can see, this, this bicycle has really been used. I wore it out. The gas tank is a glove box, and I thought that was pretty neat. And I put all kinds of stuff in there, you know, my spine stuff. I, I think that Steve McQueen movie came out. I can't remember the name of it, you know, where he uh, tried to escape the Nazi Germany on a motorcycle. And I was, for a while, I was Steve McQueen. But this is the exhaust pipes that's on it. And, uh, of course, the back fender. It, it needs to be restored. And I haven't done anything except kept it inside. Uh, my dad was, uh, my dad traveled a lot. Uh, like I'd see him on the weekends when he come in from, he was a, he worked on machinery. And so he would be called all over the United States uh, fixing machinery. He was specialized in uh, molding, plastic molding machines. So he stayed gone most of the time. So it was just me and my mom and my brother and sister, and they were real little. Uh, I, I was seven when my sister was born and I was eight when my brother was born. So it was just really just me and my mom, and uh, I was uh, all the time trying to change things around, hence the black electrical tape and, uh, you know, again, the Steve, Steve McQueen movie, you know, I put stickers and stuff, you know, there's some more black tape. I was always trying to fix it up and this, that, and the other, and really just being a kid, and I guess I repaired the pedal at one time with some black tape. I guess it broke. But anyway, I thought I'd give you a show one of this bicycle and just tell you a little bit about it. It's made by Mattel. It's a Mattel Bronco. And uh, like I said, I think it's from, six, might be 65, 65, 66, 67, somewhere in there. I think it's 65 six if I had to guess and this is a bicycle that I I bought years ago and I've kind of gummed it up because I like to have fun I've got the cards and the clothes pins here to make the motor sound when the spokes move you know it kind of sounds like a motor got my first aid kit this is all for joke by the way my speedometer how many people I've actually run over my horn and let's see, power windows. That's a feature I really like. Got this out of a junkyard truck that had been hit, and I thought, well, that's kind of matches my bicycle somewhat. And I've got, uh, of course, my do not touch stickers, toothbrush, toothpaste, road map. My wife put that in there in case I wanted to run off. Go ahead, shaver. Uh, hood pull. I forgot what that's out of. I think it's a Ford, maybe a 59 something. Oh, there's my run over counter. Hope, hopefully you can see all that. Uh, you know, switches for 
that don't do anything. And it's a super sport. With my ashtray, whenever I run over somebody, you know, it's a good time to smoke. And first aid kit, electrical cord, so when I, when it runs low on battery, I can plug it up. Of course, it leads to nothing. And if I do hit something and somebody gets my name, of course, my name is not Chuck, but that's what they're going to tell the cops. Spring, that's supposed to say break right there. And uh, this is probably not politically correct, but that's okay. Everybody needs to grow up sometime. And it's a prototype. And I really do like this bicycle. I like this feature right here, which was an option. Hang on a minute, and I'll show you how this works and why I have this sock on here. My sock had a hole in the heel, and I thought, instead of throwing them away, I can use them on cold days to keep my hand warm. It's all, all everything on it has a function, and I have a lot of fun with it. I took some of the stuff off of it. I used to have exhaust pipes in the whole nine yards, you know. And I've had a lot of fun with this bike. It's, I enjoyed fooling around with it and making it, and I named it, uh, I named it Rat Rod Special. And like I said, it's all just for fun. I like, I love having fun, kidding around as long as it doesn't hurt anybody. And here's my other bicycle. Now this is good. It's a small bike, and it's good to carry around in the back of your pickup truck or trunk of your car or back seat, in case you ever break down. You've got something to get you to another location to get some help. It's uh, The shoes are really, uh, I think they're 20,000 mile shoes and I've had pretty good luck out of them. But it, it, it's just all for fun. They, they roll and I have a good time with the bike. But I, I, all kidding aside, I normally if I go to a cruise in or something, which I haven't been in quite a while, uh, I'm, I'll put it in the back of the truck just for a conversation piece and hopefully make new friends. Okay, thought I'd show you this. Maybe you get a kick out of it. Uh, they're all baby shoes, by the way. If you, I don't know how good this camera's doing. The sun's shining, and I can't really see very well, so hopefully this is all coming through okay. Anyway, I like having a lot of fun. I've got some more bicycles and strange things. Maybe you might... If you like this, leave a comment. I got some more stuff. I didn't want to drag everything out today. This is the first day I've had off in a while, and I haven't made many videos in a while, so in about a week or so. So I thought I'd give this a try before the sun went down. Anyway, uh, as I said, I have a 1957 Chevrolet truck that I'm always looking for parts for. I'm especially looking for a used chrome grill. If anybody has one, Give me a comment. Let me know. Hey, y'all have a good day. I'll see you later.